I first met Dr. Rajaram in India while doing my masters and then he recommended me to apply at various universities in US, Canada, UK and Australia uh, for the PhD program which I did and he was very kind and he wrote recommendation letters to all these universities you know he took time uh, from his very busy schedule to do it. And I was lucky that I got admission at two universities, both in Australia, and then it get, got a little harder for me to choose which one. So I contacted him again, and he advised me to work with Dr. Bob McIntosh at Sydney University. And that's how I got introduced to Vita and uh, we trust world, you know. So after completion, I joined Simit and right from the beginning, I started to work in his breeding program. And, and uh, one good thing uh, which I, I learned and, uh, from Raj was uh, that Raj gave us all the opportunity uh, to learn Grow, grow in the program uh, and take leadership in research and applying the, the knowledge to develop better varieties. You know, I think that was his great legacy to give opportunity to all the young postdocs who were joining. Uh, uh, he also uh, made us leaders and by doing that, uh, 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 to do that, what he, he was doing that he would make us work long hours with him in the field, which allowed us to learn various different aspects of wheat breeding. And uh, every season what he would do, he will make us in charge of different uh, parts of the breeding program. So that means uh, we had to do things ourselves, and, uh, and by doing that uh, also build confidence and I think this is what was very important you know in our professional career. The, the, the varieties which were developed under his uh, leadership, hundreds of them, you'll find that many were uh, adopted by or accepted by uh, many many farmers uh, uh, whether large or small and they, they ended up being grown on over 50 million hectares and they're still grown uh, and, and the benefit they gave to these uh, farmers or countries where they were grown was not only in enhancing the productivity but also the profit, uh, the profits which farmers were making through higher yields or disease resistance so they didn't have to apply fungicides to protect the plots.